Hi, my name is Matt Poehler, and in this video we will be configuring site-to-site -site IPsec VPNs using Cisco routers and the Cisco Security Device Manager. Our basic configuration and uh, topology that we have here is the exact same with a uh, couple minor changes as compared to the command line interface lab that I have. We have my laptop with a loopback adapter running, and that's how I'm going to actually connect to the home router for the SDM configuration and uh, IPsec VPN configuration. We'll also be using this adapter for some verification and testing of traffic traveling over that VPN across the uh, routers here to the loopback address. 192.168.110 on the office router. So we have the home router and the office router just simulating a basic VPN connection that you might use over the internet or uh, any sort of uh, network where you need the IPsec implemented for the encapsulation and encryption of the data that you're sending across that. We do have uh, the interfaces and, and IPs in red which s uh, signify that the traffic on these addresses from this source network to this destination or this source to this destination will be defined as the interesting traffic which the crypto map will see and uh, actually throw across that VPN tunnel and everything in green is just uh, your basic configura configuration for routing and we are routing using EIGRP and the Autonomous System 10 and routing will be enabled across these four networks. Our site A is on the home router the 172.16.1.0 slash 24 network and site B will be on the office router with the 192.168.1.10 address as the loopback zero. The office router and interwebs routers are pre-configured for the interface uh, addresses that you see here and I also have them set up using AAA for uh, configuration via the STM and remote management through SSH version 2. They are also configured for EIGRP. Now we'll start out by finishing the configuration on the home router and verifying that we do have end-to-end -end connectivity. So I'm going to go into the home router, go into configure terminal.